A lot of people have requested it, so today I'm going to be doing the best CSGO skins on a budget 2020 under $5 edition. So without further ado guys, hope you enjoy and let's get it right into it. Whoop whoop. Hey what's up guys, it's Tripper here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about the best CSGO skins for under $5 and I picked, we obviously, I didn't pick a skin for everything but you know what, you know I only pick skins for the weapons that people usually use so it's all good. Anyways, the first skin on this list is the Desert Eagle Light Rail, and this is a really amazing skin for such a low price. It's pretty much, it, okay, so I know it's not exactly like the Deagle Blaze, but it definitely has some Deagle Blaze vibes to it. And the fact that it's only a fraction of the price, like a fraction of a fraction of the price, is kind of ridiculous. Like, I genuinely think that the Desert Eagle Light Rail is the best Deagle in the game for under like $2.20. Like it's actually kind of insane. If you're looking for a deagle and you're on a budget, the light rail is definitely your best bet. Anyways, next up we have the CZ-75 Jianglu. And uh, this is only for people who use the CZ, so if you, if you actually don't use the CZ at all, then don't even worry about it. But for the people who do use it, this is definitely one of the better looking CZs in the game. And it's also one of the cheapest as well too, so it's kind of a win-win situation. You just have a couple little purple snakes just chilling, doing their own thing. And the overall skin just, it, it has such a cool design to it and it's just, it's its nice and like purple and bright and colorful and like I, like, I don't really know what to say about it other than the fact that it's just an awesome skin for a low price. So if you're looking for a CZ skin, then here you go, the CZ Auto Zianglu. Next up is the USPS check engine. I'm not going to say that this is the best looking skin in the game, but I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Like if you're on a pretty low budget and you want a skin that not that many people use, the check engine is definitely for you. It's basically just a really cheap red USPS, essentially. It doesn't really look amazing, but I mean, I don't know. Like if you're just purely looking for a skin on a budget, like this doesn't look that bad. It's kind of like a cheaper version of like the USPS ill confirmed, you know, in case you don't want to, you know, have to spend way too much. But overall though, it's a relatively new skin in the game and I think it's pretty damn nice, you know, for the price. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Glock 18 Water Elemental. And what is there to say about this? There's not really too much to say about the Water Elemental other than the fact that it has been a, ever since it came out, it's been a classic Glock and it's always been one of my favorites. In my opinion, I think it's like the second best Glock behind the fade. Just because like it came out in the breakout collection and it's just, it's been such a popular skin since it came out. Plus it has a cool design too. I mean, it's basically like reddish pink and then it has like some water on it too, like some blue water. And in my opinion, I think red and blue definitely contrast really well together. When I think of CSGO, I think of the Glock Water Elemental. Anyways, next skin. Next up is the UMP Primal Saver, and this is by far my favorite UMP in the game because number one, it has a sick design, and number two, it's pretty, it's it's relatively cheap as well. Like you can get a minimal wear one for $4.21. That's according to CSGO Stash. I don't know if it's like Bitskin's prices or like market prices, but I mean, regardless. Oh yeah, by the way, these are all Steam prices too. Yeah, these are Steam prices. So you don't even have to worry about like bit skins or whatever. But yeah, the Primal Saber basically just has like a skull for like a saber tooth tiger on it. And it's really cool because it has like a, it has like a blue kind of, um, it's like a, it's like a tiger scratch or whatever. It has like a really cool design where it kind of looks like, you know, the actual tiger scratched it, but it's blue and it contrasts really well with the actual color of the skull itself. Yeah. So just overall a very nice skin. All right, next skin. Next up is the MP7 Bloodsport Field Tested, and yes, this is another really sick skin. Basically, it's just the, well, it's kind of like the AK Bloodsport or all the other Bloodsports, but on a MP7. And it just, it has a lot of red on it, it has some, it has some gray, there's like accents of white, and there's a lot of really cool like little Easter eggs around it. Like there's, there's like the word ninja, there's like a cat face, there's like Japanese characters, there's General Grievous's face. Like there's just, there's a lot to look at and there's just a lot of cool stuff on this skin. And also it's red too, which I think, you know, I feel like red skins definitely look really nice. Also bonus points if you have a red pair of gloves to go with these. All right, next skin. Next up is actually one of the newer skins in this collection. It was from the CS20 case and it was the MP9 Hydra. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, what can I really say about the MP9 Hydra other than the fact that number one, it was based off of Operation Hydra, which in my opinion was actually a pretty good operation. And number two, it's also green and it has a sick design. So like there's nothing, I could, there's nothing really bad to say about it. Plus, you know, it's also pretty cheap too. I guess it's kind of well known that the MP9 is one of my favorite weapons to use in CS. The reason why I like it so much is just because if you know how to control the recoil at a distance, it can be really effective. Plus, you can jump shot with it uh, like accurately. So if you're a B player on Mirage, the MP9 is so useful. Basically, all you have to do is just flash the maps 
and then go for some jump shots and get them while they're flashed. Easy peasy. The Hydra is a great skin. Anyways, guys, next skin. All right, next up, we have the Mag 7 Core Breach, and this is probably one of the uglier looking skins on this list, but you know what? It doesn't even look that bad. It's basically like an orange nuclear kind of like Mag 7 kind of thing. And it, it actually kind of gives off vibes of like the radiation hazard and like the rust coat a little bit. It's basically, okay, so this is, this is, this is basically an orange and like, I guess, matte black kind of Mag 7. And those two colors definitely go pretty well together. So overall, you know, for the price, you're getting a pretty solid skin. Anyways, next skin. Next up, we have the Galil AR Signal. And the only reason why I went with this was because it is pretty damn cheap. It, it was actually one of the cheapest Galils in the game. But in my opinion, though, in my opinion, this is severely underrated just because it actually has a pretty cool design for it. It's mostly red. But then it has like little accents of like blue, like navy blue, and then there's some purple on it too. And then uh, on the actual skin itself, you can see a little bit of purple mixed in with the red. And it's just a really good look. Like I definitely, I'm definitely a pretty big fan of the Galil signal. It's cheap and it looks pretty cool. All right, next skin. Next up, we have the FAMAS Eye of Athena. And it was actually kind of hard to decide which FAMAS to pick, but I ended up going with the Eye of Athena just because number one, it's pretty new. Well, it's it's not it's pretty new. It's it's relatively new. It came out in 2018, so it's not like one of the oldest skins, but I guess it's not brand new either. But yeah, the Eye of Athena though definitely has a really sick design. It just has an owl on it, and then there's a bunch of feathers everywhere. But I think it looks pretty cool. At first, at first glance, you'd think it's a more expensive skin just based off of like how sick the design is. But when you look at the price tag, it's pretty damn affordable. I mean, like three dollars for minimal for field tested. Like that's not that's not a big deal at all. And that's on the market, too. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say the FAMAS Eye of Athena is the best budget FAMAS in the game. Feel free to disagree. But you know what? That's just my opinion. Anyways, next skin. Next up, we have the AK-47 Baroque Purple. And it was kind of hard to pick an AK skin in this list just because a lot of the nicer looking AKs are, pr are really expensive. Just because, you know, the AK is one of the most used ones weapons in the game. So, you know, the prices are a little more expensive. But I ended up choosing the Baroque Purple because every time I've seen it, it's just... I don't know it's just such a simple design but it looks so nice it kind of has like pretty much all the metal on it like the mag and then the barrel are basically full matte black which is definitely a pretty cool look on it and then it has kind of a pattern on every other part of it and even though it's not the most colorful or flashy ak in the game i definitely think it's pretty clean and it's also really cheap too so it's kind of a win-win next skin all right ladies and gentlemen next up we have the sg553 colony 4 well worn like there's not a lot of amazing looking krieg skins in the game but i feel like the colony is definitely one that looks pretty sick and it wasn't insanely expensive unlike the integral uh but yeah let's just describe the colony real quick so it kind of has like a i don't know it has like this weird like monster giant ant skeleton thing on it i don't know what that is that's it's just kind of creepy. And then you see a bunch of gas masks just with X's and just broken glass and everything. Like this giant ant just went through and just yeeted everybody. But yeah, I mean, there's a, there's, there's a little bit of green on it. There's, I guess, green gas or something. I don't know. Those must be the fumes. And then there's like some, there's a bunch of, there's a lot of yellow on this skin too, which definitely contrasts really well with the red ant. And then of course, there's the Fantastic Four logo on the top too. So it's a, it's a cool reference. It's a cool throwback. The overall though, the Colony 4 has such a sick design for such a low price, and I would be crazy not to put it on this list. Next skin. Next up, we have the M4A4 Converter, and this is probably one of the uglier looking skins, but it's it's really cheap. It's on a budget, basically, so it's not that bad. Also, it's kind of a pattern-based skin, too, so you can actually get some that have more red or less red or whatever. So, I mean, I guess just look around on the market and figure out, figure out which one you like the most. It's very similar to the Evil Daimyo, but it has actually less red on average, and then it has uh, more matte black, which I think looks a little bit cooler. Plus, it has a really cool kind of hexagon kind of checkerboard design to it as well. So that kind of takes it to the next level. But yeah, I mean, yeah, the converter is a pretty solid budget M4 skin. All right, and next skin. And uh, if you actually don't use the M4A4, I also went with a really, I went with a better looking M4A1S, surprisingly, for just a little bit more. And it's the M4A1S Decimator. In my opinion, one of the best M4A1S skins in the game, just because it, neon purple, neon blue, super colorful, super nice. What else can I say? I don't know. Just all that going on. It always, it always cheers me up a little bit. And it's like, 
Yo, this is actually a sick skin. I like how that's how I described the, the decimator. I mean, much like a lot of the other skins on this list, it's a really good looking skin and it's under $5 too. So it's a win-win. What bad thing could I possibly say about it? Oh, it's actually, it actually doesn't have enough blue. If it had 10% more blue, it would be 20% better. So mathematically speaking, Turbo, they could have made this, Just shut up other Turbo. <laughs> it's a great skin for a great price, okay? Next skin. Next up is the op, and I went with the op Atheris. Atheris? I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think most people will agree with me when I say that the op Atheris is probably the best budget op in the game. Because it's, not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to find like good budget ops. Like a lot of the best ops in the game, I mean, I guess there's the paw, but I think the Atheris is actually better. Yeah, so let's describe the skin, the skin real quick. So on, obviously on the scope, there's some, there's some snake scales. And then on the actual body of the skin itself, there is the snake itself. Basically just a green snake with like really sharp scales and his tongue's kind of sticking out. And then the overall, just, just the overall skin has like little, it has like greenish and bluish vibes all over it. And it's, it definitely looks pretty cool. So I, I feel like the Atheris should be a much more expensive skin, but it's not. And for that, I'm happy, like I'm grateful. So thank you, Gaben, for giving us such an amazing skin at such a low price, the Apatheris. Anyways, guys, moving on to our final skin. And the final skin of the video is the MAC-10 Nuclear Garden. And I don't know why I put this at the very end. I probably should have put it with the other SMGs, but I mean, hey, it's, uh, it's too late now. I already started, like, we're, we're Gucci. But yeah, the uh, Nuclear Garden is a pretty cool skin just because it's, I mean, it's basically just a, it's like a light lime green MAC-10 with a couple skulls on it and they have like the nuclear like tr triple triangle things on them like triforces it's pretty epic anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed it like comment share subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more videos like this one because if you guys enjoyed it i'll definitely be sure to do more and also be sure to smash that like button if this video gets let's just say how about if, if this video gets 2,000 likes in the first 24 hours I will pick up all of these skins and I'll throw them into the giveaway box for, for Twitch for the days where we do hit the sub goals. And we'll have like 15 to 16 more giveaway skins for when we do get partnered. Also, I guess I forgot to say it. Uh, make sure to subscribe with the bell icon rung because it does, you know, because you do get notified every time I upload a video. You can also follow me on Twitter. You can also join my Discord. I do do pings every time I upload a new video so you'll never miss an upload. And on top of that as well, follow me on Twitch because I do stream on Twitch a couple times a week. I don't know. My, my streaming schedule is kind of, uh, it's kind of weird, but hopefully in the future, I'll be able to have a more stable schedule. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for being a part of the Turbo Nation and I will see you guys later thanks thank you guys for watching it's turbo and i'm out peace